Hello everyone, today we're going to go over activity 2.3.3, CAD material appearance and analysis. This activity is for us to learn how to use an Autodesk Inventor, the material library uh, uh, that is on, on not only for Inventor, also for the entire Autodesk family. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The steps are meant for us to use Fusion 360 and also to be modifying this part right here. However, we don't have it. So I was able to download this uh, steel hex nut and we're gonna be changing the materials. So we can use the actual type of materials available in the library Okay, so let's say we want to use right here the material. Let's say we want it in gold or we want it in made out of gravel or any other material, uh, magnesium, let's say. So every time that we select one type of material right here, let's say we want plywood. This is the way it looks like. So all of these are materials available on um, on the Autodesk material library. So we have a steel, different types. Um, let's say stucco. So we want to use that. Uh, and this is the actual finish, right? Selected by already the company. So I'm gonna change the material and uh, let's say we want to use a material that is not in any uh, library for Autodesk Inventor. So the way we change the material or create a material of our own is this way. So we're going to kind of go ahead and uh, copy this. all these characteristics from Autodesk. Um, I will have them right here. Minimize while I'm doing the steps right here in, in Autodesk Inventor. So the way we do it is this. So there's an icon, this circle, black and white, where it says material. So we're going to click on it and we're going to get this menu. So um, you can browse all the light, the type of libraries. You can uh, expand right here. This is favorite. I already created uh, this uh, PLA in red. But we have all the desk, out of desk materials and the inventor materials. So, but we want to create our own. So we're going to click on this icon on the bottom of the menu. And we're going to start typing the information. So um, I already created the red one, so I'm gonna do the uh, the green. So I'm gonna put PLA green. Type, I'm gonna choose plastic. And then uh, nothing else I will be using in this field, so I'm gonna click on the next tab. And in here, since I selected the green color, I'm gonna uh, click right here where it says color and I'm gonna choose the green that I want. You can do this one, um, this one, I'm gonna click OK. So I think that's the right color. And also, I'm gonna change the, the name and I'm gonna type PLA green. The description is um, the name, the correct name of the material is polylactic acid. I'm just gonna erase this one. The keyword is a type of plastic. And what else? I'm missing an end here. So this one will be enough for us to recognize the new material that we are adding. Then I'm going to click on uh, physical. Here is where we need to have this handy. 
because we need it. So we're going to transfer this info right here on this section. Um, I'm going to change the material right here. And it's uh, PLA green. So I'm going to start typing this into here. So I'm going to start with thermal conductivity and I'm going to change this value for this one. So just go ahead and delete all the only the numeric digits here. So it's 1.044 E negative 0 4. Once you type it, uh, you're going to move to the next field and we're going to use specific heat, another value, not this one. So only erase the digits and I'm going to type 0 0.430. We're going to leave the, those units there. Then for the thermal expansion coefficient, I'm going to change this value which is 4.761 the E is already there and I'm just going to change the last uh, number on the exponent and the exponent is 5 then I'm going to go to mechanical which is here and I'm going to change the Young's modulus Uh, this one will be 5.070 E plus 0 0.5 PSI. Poison's ratio, I'm going to change that one for 0 0.39. Then shear modulus, I'm going to change this value. for 3.480 E plus 0 5 PSI and the density also we're going to change it to 0 0.0 47. Um, also we're gonna change these two last values, the yield strength. So I'm gonna change this one for 2.901 E plus 0.3 PSI and tensile strength also will be changed to 7.250 E plus 0 0.3. All these values I got it from Project Little Way. I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to close it. So as you can see, um, now you have right here a new material, a default new material, which I'm going to change and I'm going to rename because I don't want that name. I want the PLA-Green. And we're going to close it. So what we're going to do is also we're going to add to favorites. One second. Add two favorites. So now, right here, you have both materials. But in this case, the one that you just created as um, PLA green. So we're just gonna close it. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that material from favorites right here.
Hmm. Okay, let me see how can I access this. PLA green right here, I'm sorry. So once you change it, the color doesn't have to be this one, um, but definitely you need to show that not only you change the color, also you added a material right here. So this is the first part of activity 2.3.3. Once you finish, just uh, upload it, the original part to Schoology.